beautiful night. It's been a very busy day today. Um, just overall in general, it's been a very busy day. And uh, I've got a couple of things that I want to do. Um, a lot of things were just like running around doing silly little errands. But um, I wanted to show you a couple things here. Sorry about my hair. I was actually I was in the car and I had the window down and the sunroof open and just a mess. Okay, so um, let me get myself put together here just a minute. And first of all, I want to give a massive thank you to one of our donators. Um, she sent uh, a donation for Bishop uh, after she saw the video from the other day with the little noseband thing. Um, during his bath, she saw that, you know, it slipped over and it slipped to the one side. And she's, she writes to me, she says, you need a bigger noseband. <laughs> I said, yes, I do. Because those... The blue ones were supposed, those were cheek pieces that were on one of um, Darcy's bridles. Um, so I just took them off and used them across his nose. <laughs> so this came in the mail today. Check it out. Yeah. She sent me three. Three of these awesome little nose bands. Um, they came from a company called the Bitless Bridle. And um, they're 11 inches and they're fleece. So... Let's open it and see what it looks like. These are made in the United States, so that's always a good thing. I love it. Um, and his bridle is down there. Hold on. Let me go get it. Got it. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. This is, this is he had this across his nose, um, just because he's got such a sensitive little nose. No, he's got a sensitive nose. Okay, so um, these are actually two separate cheek pieces and they're supposed to go okay so this is your horse right here like this one these are supposed to be made to go here so they fit perfectly on the side <laughs> on his cheeks not across his nose so um, I'm going to put these in the wash because they're going to go back where they belong, which is on Darcy's bridle. And we're going to use this new one that's supposed to go here like it's supposed to. So bear with me while I open this. Ooh, very nice. It's not quite as, as big, as wide. As this one but this is a shipping one so it's like basically if you're if you've got a bridle on and you're traveling or whatever this is supposed to be extra big this one is just supposed to go over the nose like if you were riding um, if you had like a leather halter or something and let's see oh got a this one has a much wider velcro strip see how wide that velcro strip is and this one is, is teeny tiny. It's really tiny. But again, this is for shipping and this is just for riding. So it's not supposed to be like massively heavy duty. These are way cool. All right. I don't have the time to make them. So I'm very happy these were sent to us. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And put this on there like it's supposed to. All righty. And look at that. Fits very nicely. So now he's gonna be all fancified. <laughs> so he's got three of these now, which is wonderful. And it's one big piece that goes over the nose and it's exactly, it fits wonderfully. I love it. Thank you so very, very much. These are amazing. And then they can always be clean because I can just hand wash this and then I've got two more. So, okay, well, this is on um, and it's good that I did this and that these came in. Thank you so much. This is going to be such a big help. 
um, trucks. It's uh, it's getting that time of year where they're harvesting the corn, so we get a lot of trucks going back and forth. Um, so I'm glad we did this. I'm glad they came in today because our next video is going to be down in the playground. So um, I am going to have to set you guys up on the tripod and bring it down into the woods and I might voice over it. I'm not going to yell. So I, it, depending on how it all turns out and what happens um, will depend on whether or not I just put the, the text in like I usually do down here or um, if I do a voiceover on it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens because I kind of like, you know, putting the music in and having a little video and having the words. But um, I'm not sure if you guys can watch the video and read the words at the same time while listening to the music. But uh, I don't know. I have uh, no shoes on. So <laughs> my shoes are in the tack room. So let me get my shoes on and um, I'm going to tack him up because I don't feel like getting my butt wet. And um, we're going to ride Darcy, not Darcy, Bishop. We're going to ride Bishop in the playground. And I'm going to have some fun. So stay tuned. All right, guys. First things first. Uh, before I go get him, I've got to bring you guys down into the playground, set you up. Because um, I think I'm going to try to ride him down into the playground. And um, that way... You guys can kind of sort of see how it all works. But I had to open that up anyway, the barn. But where are they? And then I've got um, I've got you on the tripod, so you can see really super high. <laughs> so I extended all the legs on the tripod, and um, right now it's a pain in the butt to carry. <laughs> but I extended them all the way out, and then I hooked up the phone to the, uh, the top part of the tripod part and I can telescope that all the way up too. So you can have a bird's eye view rather than, hi cows, hi cows. There's Chuckles standing up and then Magoo's laying down in the hay. I gotta put some more hay out for them. They already had their dinner. They're getting big. They're getting really big. His chuckles, his horns are coming out really big. And Magoo's laying down. Hey, chuckles! Hey, baby cow! <laughs> he just went, mmm. He's like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> so, alright. So, let's bring you down into the playground. Because some of you guys um, haven't seen the playground. So let's open this up. Don't touch the wires. Definitely don't touch the wires. Okie dokie. Let's bring you, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna raise you guys up right now. Oh no, because I'll have to pause it. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to put you guys right down here. I'll find a good spot for you, and I'll be back. Alright guys, while you are down in the playground waiting, I got the GoPro, and I figured I'd show you what I was doing. Hi guys! 
Hi, boys. You can hear the cows. Hi, boys. Hi. Who wants to go for a ride? Do you want to go for a ride? Do you want to go for a ride? Who wants to go for a ride? No? Nobody? <laughs> I know where... Hi, Bishop! Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah! Look what I have for you! Somebody bought this for you! For your nose! That's very good! Alright. Oops, we got a little gunky in your eye. Get that off. Alright. Oh, sorry. Just popped you in the head. Okie dokie. He is so good with all of this. I know. And even though it's a little, just gotta, there. Boop, boop. Yeah, perfect. I love it. Are you ready? Are you ready to go for a ride? Huh? Yeah? I think so. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Oh, that looks stunning on you. <laughs> okay, come on. Excuse me, boys. Come on. I knew that would happen. <laughs> hey, where are you going? This is why I need to move this. Because we can't have this anymore. We can't have this. They always get tangled. Come on. Come on up. So we're going to find a, def a better location for this. Good boy. You're much better at that than Jarvis. Because Jarvis always just moves all over the place. So I'm just gonna give him a quick little brushing on the saddle area. Make sure all those hairs are kind of flat. And he's got a ton of salt, so we're gonna give him a bath afterwards. Get his his girth area. Because that's going to be an area that would bother him if, if it were going to bother him. Now I always check the bottom of my saddle pad. Make sure there's no burrs. Make sure there's no pieces of anything that's sharp that could dig into him. Um, like a piece of hay. Don't want any of that. No, we don't. So... This has got a big stain on it. So I always put up a little high because we're gonna slide it down. And don't forget to pull this part up into the gullet. There, kinda like that. And then we'll slide this back into the correct position. Yes, and because he's got such a big billy and these have such long billets they go all the way up to the top and that seems to be the absolute perfect fit for him oh, I'm missing one. Oh, there it is all right so double check make sure everything is is good there and this fits just perfectly here. And we bring these up gently. I always like to bring them up very gently because it's kind of rude to just like grab it and yank it up. Alright. That's that. We'll take down our... <coughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere yet. Don't worry. Take down our stirrups. There. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, let's go get his um, 
rains, which are right here. So they were drying because they were wet. Now they got freaking grass everywhere. Okay, more. Alright. So there is my mounting block, which needs to be over there. You back up, please, or turn around, whichever you prefer. I'm thinking backing up. Back up, please. Come on, come on, you can back up. Okay guys, well, this is, uh, sorry I have to narrate this, but um, my main goal for today's ride in the playground area is to get him basically to move off of my leg pressure and not use as much aid in through the reins as possible. Um, I also want him to try to stop and not turn his bum around. Um, and, and then walk on because what he's been doing is stopping and then he'll turn his butt a little bit to turn around and then walk on. So I'm bringing him around just free walking through here. That way he can kind of get a feel of what it really looks like while I'm on his back. Um, he's only been down through here as we walked across the bridge and um, he's never been through here being ridden. I'm gonna let him walk around here a little bit, let him get his bearings, kind of let him see what's going on. I'm not really giving him that many leg cues at the moment because I'm really not working him quite yet. I'll start to give him leg cues as we come around the corner. And I didn't know he was pooping. <laughs> Sorry. So we're gonna start here and I'm gonna start asking him to move off the pressure of my leg as we come around the corner here. But you'll see when he woes, he doesn't really stop and he turns his butt. So we're gonna work on that and that's what I want to avoid is I don't know how he was trained before, but we're gonna work on that. Now right there, I made him stand for just a little bit, and before he started to move again, I asked him to walk on. So now, hopefully, he'll put two and two together, that when I ask him to whoa and stand, it means stop and stand, not walk on. So we go down here into the woods again, and I'm kind of teaching him a little bit of leg pressure. It's really hard to see, obviously, because he's behind the trees, but I asked him to whoa and stand quietly, which he's doing. He'd much rather be with his friends, but he's doing as I ask, being a gentleman about it.
Now right here, I'm asking him to turn one direction and he's refusing. He's wanting to go the other way. Um, he's not very interested in what I'm asking him to do. So what I'm going to do is just move his feet just a little bit and ask him to just kind of swing his bum around in a circle. I'm not actually being mean to him or pulling him. I'm actually putting pressure in the saddle so he understands where I want his bum to go. And you can see there, he did it perfectly. He just turned right around and he flexed his neck. He did perfect. So now we're gonna go the other direction, but he refuses. So I just stand here just for a moment or two till he kind of figures it out. There's that tail and there's the other direction. Very good. So if you think about a horse, Think of a centaur where the upper body is a man and the lower body is a horse. And in order for him to move his back end, you need to move your bottom in the saddle. And if you go to turn and look at his haunches, you're going to instinctively turn your body and put more pressure on one side of the saddle versus the other side. And that will give him another cue to turn in the direction that you want him to turn in. So as we come around, I'm going to teach him a little bit of stopping and going. So I asked him to whoa, and before he could actually turn his butt, I asked him to walk along again, which he did amazingly well. And then we're going to do a couple of little weaves here. And there's a section up here where there's a root that sticks up that I know he's going to trip on. And there he goes. <laughs> now it's this point in the video where I actually have my GoPro going, which is really strange. So we're going to go back and forth between my camera and the GoPro from here. We'll put two and two together. Come on. Come on. That when I ask him to stop and whoa, walk on. Um, that's what I want him to do is just to stop. So we're going to try again. Whoa. whoa. Very good. Walk on. Very good. Very good. I'm going to try it again. Whoa. 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 Good. Walk on. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. He did good that time. Let's try again. Whoa. Whoa. No. See, that's that's a fail. Yeah. Good boy. Walk on. Very good. Good boy. Come on. Walk on. We're going to go through these trees again. Come on. There you go. Through the scary trees. Come on. Come on. You don't want to back up, you'll hit by the fence. There. So now he's also being made aware of all the little things that are going over his head. And we're going to go around this way. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. I know. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. He's still paying attention to his friends up there. But he's not crying. Good boy. Good boy. He's still listening to me for the most part. Oh, he's got a leaf on his bum. I'm going to take you over here. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> go this way. Good boy. I'm going to go around the tree. Kind of like the slalom, like what we did last time. And take him up this way. And you want to prepare them with where you want them to go. Walk on. 
before they actually ah, get there. I think we're ready to go up and I'll get my phone later and it'll probably be dead or something. I don't know. I think uh, that worked out pretty good. He did a very good job. Now I'm going to lean forward and let him have his reins are going to go up towards the middle of his neck. And I'm going to lean forward so he can have full head and shoulders and momentum to get up this hill. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good job. All right. I think we're going to go for a little ride after that now because I think he's done really good. That was an amazing, amazing lesson. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, these, these stirrups now are fitting really well. Alright. Good boy. Walk on. Come on. He still wants to be with his friends, but he can't see them. So I'm asking him to walk on. Come on, through the barn. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Good job. Good boy. There you go. Good job. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. telephone pole. Come on.
You have a leaf in your ear. Took Crazy May up, up this way last year. Last year. Come on. Very good. We're not going to eat though. Come on. And uh, there was corn all up in here last year. And this year they planted the soybeans. Come on. for all the work that he just did. Did fantastic. And the best thing is always leave your horse in a better condition than he was before you started. Because horses always learn while you're out there. So whether you teach him something good or something bad, he will always learn from what you've just taught him, believe it or not. Enough grazing. Let's turn around. Let's head back over here. There we go. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Yeah. Good boy. kind of figured it out that I wanted him to walk. We're going to walk down that path down towards that house. I took Gracie May down towards this way. She did really good. Do I ever hear a horse calling from over there? It's very strange. <laughs> It made a move. <laughs> He's so used to being in a team. He's sad to go by himself. Oh, there's some people over there. Look. 
they see you. I think they were just kids. It wasn't a real horse, it was just a kid calling back. <laughs> That's funny. It's just the farmer's kids playing. Good boy. He's being very good on this ride today. You can see him weaving. <laughs> it's a little path that he made. <laughs> as long as we can stay out of the, the soybeans, we should be just fine. There's our house. <laughs> that way, cool tree. The tree's awesome. So I think we're gonna call this a night. I know. You got a horse fly on your face? You do. We're gonna let him walk home. I think we had a fantastic day. It was a very nice ride. A lot of, a lot of learning, a lot of chewing and licking. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. Couldn't ask for anything better. Good job, bud. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Jarvis. <laughs> Come on. We gotta walk past them. Good boy. Come on. Can't walk on the grass. Husband just mowed it. A little bit of leg pressure. He's moving away from leg, which is fantastic. Fantastic, very good. All right. Ah, 
Daddy's got the drone. Hi. Right and do it. Spider whip. Ooh. Not bad. There's the drone. Good boy. That doesn't seem to bother him. Doesn't seem to bother him. He did amazing. Good. He did. Doing good in the saddle, by the way. Oh, this I adjusted the stirrups. Whoa. Whoa. Good boy. All right, stand. Good boy. Yeah. Good job. successful ride and bath and we doctored his legs and we learned a lot at least he did he did much better he gets gonna he's gonna keep on getting better and better and better and uh, yeah so thank you for sticking around and coming along it's always nice to have company <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys have a great night and I'm gonna call it a night for myself Horses have already been fed. He's up here getting his food. And the cows have already been fed. Don't let them pull you. There he is. It's been rinsed off, washed down. 
and he's got his nice blue blanket and husband is over there <laughs> you can barely see him <laughs> how tall are you Five ten. There you go, men. There you go, guys. You can see how tall this horse is. My husband is five ten, <laughs> and you can barely just see his nose over the <laughs> back of him. <laughs> so, remember uh, the people that I saw over there? You are our neighbors. <laughs> I recognize them in the pink shirt. So uh, yeah, apparently they were out on a ride too, and I turned around and we came back and they just continued on doing whatever it was that they were doing. So that's pretty funny. So maybe next time uh, we'll see if we can invite them to come along. So I'm going to let him finish eating his food and I'm going to get some food for myself. We'll see you next time on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses.